now from the IBA at Winchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. Good morning. Welcome to the IBA's weekly bulletin of news and information for the radio and television trade. Today, a potpourri of news for the trade from DBS to stereo sound. We've also our usual roundup of transmitter news, including the last of the Channel 4 conversions at existing relays and details of five new relays at Vaux in the Shetlands, Lumfannon west of Aberdeen, Burbage at Buxton in Derbyshire, Hereford and Hastings Old Town. More details later, but first, trade news. The Three Channel Four programme, direct broadcasting by satellite service for this country, is still on course for its 1989 launch. British Satellite Broadcasting has already placed an order with the Hughes Aircraft Company to provide two satellites for the service, and British manufacturers are cooperating to meet the requirements of the European MAC receiver. BSB hopes to attract 400,000 subscribers in the first year of operation and anticipates that by 1995, half the potential audience, that's more than 10 million homes, will be watching at least some of its programmes. And Europe's first DBS service came a step closer last Saturday with a successful launch by the Ariane rocket of the West German satellite TVSat. This high-power satellite will be receivable over much of Europe, including Britain, although larger dishes will be needed in the north. Four programme channels are to be transmitted from about February of next year, including digital stereo radio. The vision format is expected to be MAC, although there are no decoders in production as yet. The French DBS satellite TDF-1 is due next spring. And the situation on stereo or dual-channel sound with UHF television is that the IBA aims to have stereo sound for 70 to 75 percent of the population by late 1990 on both ITV and Channel 4. At least one British manufacturer already has a videotape recorder available fitted with a Nikon 728D coder which could be used with dual channel television sets and stereo hi-fis. The BBC intends to review its position in 1991 on the start of a service but it does already transmit some television programmes in stereo from Crystal Palace. We've also been asked about the possible start of a fifth terrestrial television channel on UHF. Last month, the DTI and Home Office announced that the government have commissioned a feasibility study into the technical and financial prospects for a fifth UHF television channel. Ministers from both departments have emphasised that the studies are to equip the government with an up-to-date assessment of the technical options and no decisions will be made without carefully considering the possible impact on existing or future television services. In the more mundane but nevertheless important part of the television transmission chain, one aerial rigger in the southeast of England still has more than 4,000 aerials to be repaired or replaced following the hurricane in the middle of October. With three vans on the road, it will obviously be some time before this one company will be able to clear the backlog of work and once more, 